My involvement in programs involving queer youth affects my peers in a couple different ways. Um, outside of my work environment, it's generally a very positive experience because my community is queer supportive and queer involved most, most of the times. And um, with my peers at work, it's, it's good. You know, I mean, it's not like there's this like great proud moment where they're like, wow, you're really helping to be a support system for queer youth, but it's, it's recognized and it's, um, I've never received any negative feedback. I think that uh, most times, if it's ever anything that's a little bit controversial, it's um, that they're unaware of what GSA stands for or why I would say um, queer youth instead of um, a different word that they may use. The school that I work at could create a safer environment by having a standard of language and talking about representation and gender stereotypes at an all school level instead of um, just on a teacher to teacher basis or administrator to administrator basis. Um, starting the year with that and talking about, you know, what is a safe space and how do we engage and communicate inside of that and what happens when there is someone who feels unsafe or what happens when our community um, is not adhering to these sort of safe space rules because I think that it's good to we can start with that idea but there also needs to be a process to deal with something when that doesn't happen. I don't this is an interesting question because I believe that I've always been queer friendly in my life. I think that sometimes there was different societal conditioning that took place where I sort of questioned like, oh, you know, that person looks really flamboyant and I wasn't sure exactly the sort of underpinnings of what that meant when I was making that judgment. Um, and it was in college when I really sort of like dived deeper into the sort of questioning of what queer meant and how I identified and how my friends and our interactions with our parents and our peers and our schools and all the structures that um, come along with society. And uh, it was college where I really started to delve deeper into that. But I think that growing up, I mean, I always had queer friends. I was always, you know, I look back on it and I'm like, wow, you know, there isn't a time where I didn't have a queer friend. And it wasn't that they were queer and so therefore my friend, it was just something that happened and was and looking back on it I was like yeah you know it's always been a part of my life this is such an interesting question because when I think of my favorite movie I was asked this so much more frequently in my youth and so my youth answer was Pearl Harbor because I loved the two main actors and actress and so that was always just really visually stimulating for me but in watching that movie now I'm not quite sure that I can engage with the gender roles in the same way that I did in high school. And so now I really, um, I really enjoy Gladiator for the strong female presence at the end because I feel like, you know, amidst all this like male glory and like fighting and, you know, alongside that there's like oppression and poverty and like the underdog coming back up through, you know, I like all those elements. And then, you know, alongside that there's also a strong female role. Um, which is really important in today's um, culture. I, I, just, I don't see it that often. So when I think about what colors sort of like represent me or, you know, my heart tone or energy color, um, I always come to magenta, this sort of like darker purple. And um, for a long time, I felt like that really represented this sort of like the, the darkness, but the beauty in the darkness and how it, it's strong and powerful and has these sort of like blood veins through it, you know, and is really like at the heart of, um, of the human experience. And um, I think that it brings out that, the humanity, but also um, the understanding of, of the pain and the experience of so many people and the, the ability to still be beautiful.